Good morning guys. Let's see derived data types in C++. Derived data types is basically derived from built-in data types. That means derived data type does not create a new data type. In fact, it adds more functionalities to built-in data types. As we know, in C++, we have three different categories of built-in data type that is integral, plotting point and valueless. Here we are having arrays, functions, pointers. Fine. Let's see array. Right. The syntax for array declaration is data type, var name, and size. For example, int account number 2. If we are having this statement in account number 2, it means we are declaring two variables. The first variable name is account number with index 0 and the second variable name is account number with index 1. Fine. So, array is a collection of variables. Array is a collection of variables of similar data types. As we can see, array is collection of variables of similar data type. Fine. And they, it, and they are stored in continuous memory location. Fine. So, if A0 is at 2000 memory address, then A1 will be from 2002 to 2004. Fine. So, this is the concept of array. Array is a collection of variables of similar data types and is consists of continuous memory location. Next point is functions. When we are having bigger programs, we used to divide these bigger programs into smaller sub-programs. For example, if if I have to do calling for this bank, right? So what I can do, I can divide this bank program into smaller sub-programs like withdrawal sub-program, display details, deposit, fine. So these sub-programs are known as functions. When we have to do program, when we have to program bigger programs, what we do? We divide bigger programs into smaller sub-programs. And these sub-programs are known as function. Fine. And the function signature is return type, func name, that is function name, and input argument list. Fine. Suppose deposit function, it returns nothing. The return type is void. Function name is deposit. And for the time being, let's take, it's just taking int amount. As the input argument list. Fine. The next concept is pointers. Pointer is a variable. Pointer is a variable. But this variable stores address. Pointer is a variable, but this variable stores address. Fine. What does it mean? We were having this memory address 2000. <coughs> A. Int. Star. P. 
that means p is a pointer that means this p can store address int a fine so if i say p equals to and of a then what does what this statement is doing this statement is making p equals to 2000 fine because pointer is a variable that stores address fine thank you